Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover correct PDF gang up layout settings for digital printing. So for gang up layout, um, layout um, challenge, we see kind of three common issues. One, the gang up layout is already imposed on the sheet size selected by the designer. And two, a business card design is laid out on a bigger sheet size with trim or crop marks. And three, the design requires precise front and back registration that demands perfect trimming. Here's an example of a business card order that's already pre-imposed. Because our customer's designer is probably not familiar with your digital print production, the design is likely not optimized for the sheet size you have available at the print shop. And this layout may not fit within the imageable area of the printer, since different models of printers in your shop probably have different imageable print areas. But the truth is that the designer doesn't need to have any knowledge on what sheet size you will produce the job on or what digital press should be used. The designer simply needs to leave the imposition out of his or her design so that you can achieve the optimum imposition layout using a make-ready application, such as Fiery Impose, that is well integrated with your digital press and offline cutting workflow. Here's an example of the second common issue. The design is positioned on a larger sheet, or in other words, the media box is larger than the design size. This PDF also contains trend marks. In order to correct this file and get ready for production, it's going to require extra time and higher level of expertise available at the print shop to correct it. So that's additional cost for the production that you are going to need to pass it on to your customer. So here are the settings that uh, the designer should review and change a design time. And, uh, and we are seeing a snapshot of the incorrect settings uh, a designer used when creating a new InDesign document. The designer has used the system default letter as the page size. And with this default, the margin is set to 0.5 inch for the non-imageable area, and then uh, zero inch for the bleed. And the correct settings for a business card design is to first um, use the business card page size already available in InDesign and modify if necessary, and then leave no margins, and then also put a point one to five inch for the bleed area. The designer will also need to kind of leave out all the trim marks when creating a PDF file um, from Adobe InDesign so that the marks can be placed based on imposition sheet size at prepress time. And we will cover the mark settings in the next challenge. Here's an example of a correct business card design where the media box is the same as the trim box. And we can verify the size in Adobe Acrobat by mousing over to the bottom of the sheet. And here we see the design size in the lower, uh, lower right-hand corner. So the third common issue with getting up layout is registration being off. On the back of this business card, the logo is partially trimmed, and there is white space showing. This issue comes up when registration in the design doesn't account for the front and back red tolerance of the engine. So for example, if an engine has um, a plus and minus 0.5 millimeter tolerance on both the front and the back, the business card's front and back registration can be one millimeter off. And that's, a, that's a lot. So to overcome the registration issue, there are two tips you can share with your, with your designers. One, build the tolerance into the design and elements critical to the design should not be placed too close to the edge. And two, incorporate bleed into the original document to avoid unintended white space. So in this good, good design example, 
with the right amount of bleed and good placement of the logo, there is no white space showing and the logo is printed correctly. So to summarize, have your designer do less work. This may be counterintuitive, but as we see in the second challenge, you can deliver a job much faster if the pre-press work is left to, to you at the print shop. And so for the, for the checklist, don't pre-impose a design time and leave out the marks in PDF creation and educate your customer to design the layout document with the final document size um, and with bleed and trim included. Finally, get PDF files. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.